We're at Seafield Wastewater Treatment Works, which is the biggest wastewater treatment works in Scotland. This site provides an essential service for the people living in Edinburgh, Mid Lothian, East Lothian and some of West Lothian because it treats all of their sewage and makes sure that what we discharge into the fourth is clean and treated. On a normal day we would treat through the plant about 5,900 litres a second which is equivalent to 30 baths each second. Here at the screens we remove all of the things that shouldn't be coming down the sewer and they get washed and put into skips and then taken to landfill and we're taking away between 250 and 300 skips a year to landfill and that's four and a half tonnes per skip. So a lot of stuff that's coming down the sewer that shouldn't be. Some of those things that come through that shouldn't are cotton buds, nappies, baby wipes, sanitary towels, kitchen towels and fat that's poured down drains. Things that should come down the toilet are the three P's. It's toilet paper, poo and pee. This is the second stage of the process of primary treatment. These are called primary settlement tanks. The solids in the incoming sewage just settle out here and they're extracted and taken through to the fourth stage of treatment which is digestion via the thermal hydrolysis plant. This is the third stage of treatment. This is called the activated sludge plant. We put a lot of air in with the bacteria and that allows them to treat the sewage. We have diffusers, ceramic discs at the bottom of these lanes and air is pushed through the ceramic discs. It's called diffused aeration and that puts air at a certain level into the lanes which give the bacteria enough air to produce, respire, to eat the bacteria. Once it's treated the sewage it then goes into what we call final tanks to settle out and then goes out to the sea. The first part is all the solids and sludge goes through thermal hydrolysis which breaks down the bacteria and pasteurizes it. It then goes into digesters, they're called anaerobic digesters, so they're without air and the bacteria eat themselves and produce gas and the gas that we produce goes to power our combined heat and power engines. That makes the site about 80 to 90 percent self-sufficient of energy and some days we actually produce more gas than we use in energy. Once the sludge has been through the thermal hydrolysis process, it comes out of the digesters and is then centrifuged to spin out as much water as possible to produce what we call cake. And that sludge cake gets spread onto farmers' fields as a fertiliser. Farmers really like the cake because it's very high in nutrients. Seafield site has been an outlet for the city's wastewater for over 100 years. The, the Victorian infrastructure leads everything down to, to Seafield. It serves a population equivalent, so that's domestic, trade, tourists, visitors to Edinburgh, up to an equivalent of 850,000. The Seafield is a strategic site for the city. It serves a very important purpose to protect our coastlines, to ensure that we meet our SEPA regulations and to meet our customer requirements. And that, that is our key focus here at the site.